Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful Friday morning. So we're going to spend a weekend in Orlando and head out to different locations. Uh, first location we're headed to is actually St. Pete. And we're going to visit the OCC Museum. And then on Sunday, we're going to try to go to the Ozella Trail and visit Crystal Harley-Davidson, which is right there. So if you like this route and you're either in Orlando coming this way or from where I am, Broward to Dade County going that way, going up north, um, there are pros and cons to this route. Uh, rest areas is one of the cons and I know a lot of people got to stop and pee man my wife hates it when I kind of uh, kind of go through it without stopping so got to figure out if there's gas stations in some areas and stop there so she can pee and I'll go ahead and take a break um, anyway that's one of the cons what's another one One of the advantages the the lack of traffic back here, the lack of the stress that comes with riding on a highway. Uh, scenery is a little better if you want to get like rural, rural type communities and that uh, back roads, farm scenery, whatnot. This is uh, this is for you. If you'd rather be on the highway and cut time and the highway is for you. That's another con, by the way, is time. So this trip, if you were to take the highways, if you were to take, uh, for example, 75 to the turnpike, um, it'd probably cut about, I'd say about 40 minutes. Yeah, about 40 minutes time, yeah. So, I mean, each has its pros and cons. Saturday morning here in Orlando headed to go get some gas and then we're off to OCC Roadhouse and Museum in Clearwater St. Pete area so it's uh, almost 1030 and it's showing an arrival of 1206 so an hour and 37 minutes it's about 94 miles from where we are here in Orlando to St. Pete and Clearwater.
guess where we're at. OCC Roadhouse and Museum and Barracuda, Harley Davidson. Check out the chairs, roadhouse, look like sissy bars, full bar man. These are all kinds of uh, home pictures of the family. You see Mikey up there. It's a picture of Junior with his wife. Fat tire in the front. The fender. Screaming Eagle 131. Isn't he 
take care of her. Antlers. Barracuda, Harley Davidson. Check out Mr. T. Um, hey, he's got some nice pearly whites. Let's get that smile again, Mr. T. Look at that. Twenty-two. That's uh, I forgot the name of that. One, two. These are all street glide STs. Three, four, five, six. You're looking for STs, this is the place to come. Oh man, we had a nice time there. OCC Roadhouse and Museum. And Burt Barracuda's Harley Davidson. So much memorabilia and stuff from OCC. Thousands of pictures, man. All kinds of stuff. The bikes. So much. Anyway, we ate a very light lunch. You could probably call it a snack. And uh, we got like a little bit over a two hour ride back to Orlando from this area. Lots of bikes there. They got a big event tonight. You saw the bands, man. That last band that was playing there. Woo! They were jamming. I talked for a while there with uh, one of the sales ladies on the floor, uh, like for clothing, for motor clothing. And we we're we we're talking about a lot of stuff, but out of uh, one of those things was, you know, the fact that I was supposed to be at the bike event a week ago, couldn't make it. But she was showing me pictures and videos and all cool, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, she had a video there with uh, Paul Senior riding with his wife on the choppers. So that was pretty cool. By the way, I've never been to the St. Pete Clearwater area. I've been to Tampa and Tampa Bay in that area. Haven't filmed it yet, but plan to do that soon. Um, we kind of passed through Tampa Bay saw that earlier um, so I made a little bonehead mistake today the uh, I brought my drone and I was planning to fly it here only problem is uh, if you know anything about drones and you have a license um, this is a class D it's considered a class D airspace um, to fly a drone here you need you need uh, permission to do so uh, it's usually instant however like a bonehead I didn't look up beforehand class D airspace a lot of times they need uh, 72 hours uh, you got to get your I wouldn't call it a permit but you got to get your permission to fly uh, 72 hours in advance so I didn't look that up so couldn't get the drone shot overhead it would have been cool man some of these roads on 275 and also on I-4 they're being repaired are pretty bad um, they've got some shallow potholes but nonetheless
still. It's better to stick to the middle of the road, middle of the lane. So I never mentioned I collect poker chips from all these uh, Harley dealers, all the different Harley dealers. So I just got one from from Barracuda Harley, and then tomorrow. We go to Crystal Harley Davidson. Uh, Got to remember to get one from there. I haven't been there. Check out the Pelicans. See the Pelicans. So there's a good view right here of uh, of the bay. If we, time, if we time it just perfect, maybe we can see that plane coming down for a landing. The plane's right there. It's a Southwest Airlines coming right to left. Let's see if we get it. And there it is. By any chance you're from uh, the Tampa Bay area or Clearwater or even that area of St. Pete, comment down below. Let me know. Now let me know what else. What else is there in, in uh, St. Pete? What can we visit around there? So I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give it a like, give it a share, give it a subscribe. I hope to see you in the next one, which is actually tomorrow. The video after this one is Crystal Harley Davidson and the Ozello Trail. And I'll talk more about that in that video. Until next time, be safe on the road. See y'all real soon. Peace.